<laughs> You've become a big sissy. I thought you grew up in the swamp. It's done, all done. Time flies, I know that's for sure. Yeah. You're gone, you're gone. Hey, you guys. Thanks for joining us on another journey. Today, we're in Tulum. Oh yeah, we're checking out some Mayan ruins on the ocean. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. Oh, this is gorgeous, man. Mom? Oh. Pancakes, oh, honey, yeah. and yeah. bacon, okay? Beautiful. Yeah, what? Motuleños without ham with a uh, chorizo. Ah, uh, looks so okay. beautiful. Enjoy. Thank you. Ah, uh, it was excellent. What are you just saying that? Your pancakes got some kind of unique uh, flavors to it. It's not just the honey. Yeah. So I think this is the same thing we had yesterday, but a different version of it. Oh, I'd like a bite of it. We'll take a bite of it. I think you're gonna feed me. Okay, you get a piece of banana. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't good at feeding my kid either. Yeah, that is similar, but that's good. Mm -hmm. I wonder how they make that sauce. You need to duplicate that. I'm gonna have to look it up when we get home because it's not spicy. Exactly. I mean, it's got, it's got it's flavor got to flavor, it, but, but it's not spicy. It's not, yeah. It's really good though. what the name of that animal is but if you know comment below so there's a wall for controlling and securing social life you are in one of the port cities with a system of control and defense composed of a rampart with watchtowers as well as strategic access to land and sea its ancient inhabitants built it on the highest point of the region with an amazing level of planning and design. The most important buildings are completely surrounded by a wall and they can only be reached by four narrow paths by land and one by sea. Interesting. Yeah, what's interesting? They're miniature temples, very small structures that reproduce temples to scales. These constructions must have functioned as altars where offerings were left because it obviously wouldn't have let people inside. Is this what it was like when you were here, all no. roped off? Well, the first time, no. The second time, yes. Oh, those are, those are really nests yep. that are protected. Oh, look at this. This is cool. Dead live tree. What do you think about the Tulum ruins, April? Pretty cool. I'm being eaten up again. And, <laughs> You've become a big sissy. I thought you grew up in the swamp. Sweating. No, that was you. You're the redneck. No. On a civil Orlando. Day. Orlando was the swamp. No. Yes. Orlando's civilized. Orlando's a swamp. They built the whole place in in the 70s. It's a swamp. <laughs> when Disney showed up. <laughs> and what's Jacksonville? That's Georgia. <laughs> Crazy. The first time I came here, I had this whole place to myself. 
Oh, I bet. Granted, that was a gazillion years when, ago. When was it? I want you to think uh, for a minute. What year was it? Yeah, I think the first time that I came to Tulum was 1999. There was no one here. Had to take a uh, local bus to get here. Two hours. It cost two or three pesos. Beautiful. All right, so I very nice. Let you um, extra pillows. Oh, okay, you. there's so a lunch up there. Okay, great. Beach towels in the bathroom, beach towels. An amazing water. AC. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely need that. Yes, you do. <laughs> and it's got a little kitchenette. What do we pay for this? Oh, I don't even remember. Um, Around 35 US dollars. Yeah, okay. About, right. mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Give or take. I can't remember exactly. <laughs> perfect. We're in Tulum, Mexico now. Just uh, checked into our Airbnb. We're going to go get some dinner. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Good. Excellent. Is this your restaurant? Yes. Sir. So you're Charlie then? Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> you have a You have a beautiful place. The, the ice oh. is safe for us, right? Oh, yes. Oh. Great. Oh. What do you suggest uh, for food? Well, we got uh, these uh, specialties. What do you have? The ceviche, chile relleno, carnitas, uh, fish, chicken borracho. This is a uh, chicken breast with uh, salsa and uh, sausage inside. With the salsa, chile pasilla salsa and the soap. Thank so, you. what I can suggest the, the chile relleno for you? Uh, no, I think I'm going to go with the chicken. Ah, the pollo borracho. That's yeah. right. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. You like octopus? I do, I think. All right. I do. But you like um, the, the octopus? I can suggest the, the octopus in a chipotle sauce. Is that And this cooked is hot. And, and, uh, <clears throat> yeah, maybe I'll try that then the instead. Chipotle thank you, thank you. All right, cool. Yes, thank there you. There we go, yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, this is a little um, salsa? spicy salsa. Spicy. This is habanero, so try it around. Oh, okay, habanero, huh? No, not too much. Not, not too much, know, huh? Just... Mm. Hang on, my mouth is on fire. So I shouldn't even try it? Um, don't put as much on it as I just did. <laughs> <laughs> is it a little hot? I kind of wanted to get a side of guacamole. Mm. I don't think I've ever had this or heard of this dish before. Mm. You're welcome to try my octopus. Oh yeah, I'm definitely trying to bite of that. Mm. Mm hmm Living in Utah? You never get everything amigos. Oh, it's very amazing. Good. That's good? Amazing, yes. Like yes. yes, very much. It's not too spicy? No. No, 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 not That's spicy. Good. There we go. The, the guacamole is amazing. Yes. I love the flavor you got. Unusual combination. I've never heard of chicken stuffed in with chorizo, with chorizo before. Or, but it gives it a, a different flavor. And it's, he's almost got it like in a mole sauce of mm -hmm. some sort. I like this because it's so have not had this dish before. You know, after a day of adventure in room. And actually, who we have? All we have is breakfast. I wonder where they get this octopus from. <clears throat> from the ocean. But like from right here? Yeah. Breaking into a sweat again. Yeah. Getting that nice sheen, glow to my farmer's tan. Mm hmm. Mm, my God, that is such good guacamole. I know, it is. I love guacamole. It's <clears throat> limey. It has tomatoes in it. You mean limey, not slimy. Yes, that's what I said. <laughs> that's what I said. That is like, that is the way that I like it. Yeah. Fresh. Chunky avocado, chunks of tomato. I don't know if there's onion or not in there. And then some lime, lime, lime. We just left Charlie's restaurant. What an excellent meal. We had uh, two entrees, 
She had two margaritas and is white girl wasted. No, I'm not. And I had two local craft beers. And you're a white girl wasted. You get out of the street. We had to go this way to get onto the sidewalk. Or Oh, look at the cute little boy. 955 pesos. Hello! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> For uh, 955 pesos, which is uh, roughly 45 US dollars. So, great meal. If you're in Tulum, highly suggest hitting uh, Charlie's. This was a recommendation from our Airbnb host. Great call. Thank you, Miss Tanya. We want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank, thank you, you for, for living, living life. life.